Well, Gene, right now I'm on Alpine Road. Behind me is Valhalla Road, and you can see there are trees down everywhere. This is one of the harder hit areas. Uh, tree crews, I don't know if you can hear them, but they're working to clean up some of this mess. One homeowner we, one homeowner we spoke with said the storm last night started around 7 and the sky turned orange with rain coming down sideways. Here on Alpine, you can see trees on cars, in yards, and the worst we have seen is that a tree fell on, the ho on a home's roof. I'm told the older couple living there had lived there for 40 years. Thankfully, their neighbors tell me they they are OK. There are several tree crews here on all of the surrounding roads. They're using heavy duty equipment like tree chippers to break down the debris and big cranes to remove some of the trees from homes and on cars. The National Weather Service is on scene assessing the damage as well as members of the Milford Fire Department and from the town. Some of the tree crews we've spoke to said to be cautious around the trees that are left standing because they have loose branches at the top that could fall at any time. There are also power lines down everywhere, even in the driveway that I'm standing and in the road. They say you should expect those wires to be live and to use caution around them. Now we've spoken to several people out here that say they're not even from this neighborhood or they live down the road and had no damage, but they just wanted to come help their neighbors to make sure that they weren't stuck cleaning all of this up by themselves. We even were told there was one woman walking around with a cooler handing out waters to the crews here to make sure they had water in this heat. We're live in Milford, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.